So, we did this the other day, um, last Wednesday, I think, on my live. I actually took a sweater and a Dollar Tree frame, pumpkin frame, and I covered it with fleece. And then I went ahead and cut up this orange sweater, this beautiful orange sweater. And I cut it in such a way that I can actually get two out of this sweater which that was my plan. Then there's extra pieces for other things. I could make smaller pumpkins, whatever. Victoria, I think I remember where that was. I lived down in Texas, late 70s. Um, El Campo, Wharton. Um, we visited Bay City, Sweetwater. So I loved it down there. 89 is not too bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I really was trying when I did this to incorporate the buttons in the design. This, this little stump of a handle was not doing it for me. So I removed all the rope and decided that I want a bow here instead. All right, but... I wanted to show you what I did here. I actually took some of, hi Brenda, welcome. Oh, I hope you're safe there. So I took some of this tubing from the Dollar Tree and I went ahead and I cut a piece of floral wire. I waited to finish because I wanted to show you what I did, so you'll know. I ended up turning down the end because what I did was I fed this through the deco tubing. See how I created this? This is how I did it. I put tubing down inside here, or wire I mean, okay? Then what I did was I, I tied off the end in a knot and I tried to get the um, floral wire in there secure and then bend it over because I don't want it to stick out and cut anybody. Actually, I'm going to trim, trim it off. I pulled it tight, so now I'm just going to trim it off. Well, I was just going to turn it off. <laughs> there we go. Make sure it's not stick. Hi, Dawn. I'm so glad you liked it. I have a set of car coasters I have to make for Dawn. Dawn is into Chihuahuas. I did the design. Now, tomorrow I have to print them. <laughs> I know what you meant. Do you like this angle better? Can you see more with this angle than when I have it over top? I thought it kind of felt like this was a better angle so everybody could see what was going on. Let me know if you like it this way or not. All right. So we fed that floral wire through our deco tubing because I wanted to create this vine effect here. And then I took, which it's not here, I had a little dowel, and then I just wrapped this around to create the, what would you call that? The looping? <laughs> okay, great. Um, um, then I'll keep it. That's awesome. I, I kind of felt that you could see better with this one than in front. It's just now I have to go from this to this to this to read comments. I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you, but this is how I can see my comments and here. Okay, great. So it's unanimous. We're going to leave it like this. All right. Then I use the buttons to just kind of wrap this around the button. Okay. And then I ended up sticking it into inside a loop in the um, 
just right through the the knitting part like I found a hole and then I just stuck it through it and the reason I'm doing three because visually it's going to be easier with things in three all right your eye follows it better okay so you want a little zoom in all right we can we can do that I need input from you so I know what works for you okay is that better how's that Jeanette okay so we've got and I like I try really hard to get these buttons in the design I just can't do it the little stumpy thing wasn't doing it for me this to me was better so what I did today I have these maple leaves all right and I want to show you how I did this I painted the maple leaf yellow and then I let it dry a little bit and then I painted the top brown and I used a really dark brown these are just the apple barrel acrylic paint all right then what I did was I took the paper towel and I just blotted off some of the wet wet um, paint brown paint so I kind of get that effect can you see it because I had some yellow in here in the ribbon so I wanted some of that in that looks really good against the orange if I would have painted this leaf orange which I tried I put a little in there it would still be okay because I've got the yellow in there and I've got the brown so I did a simple loop to bow, hand loop to bow here with five loops. And then I stuck a little raffia in it. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. You all know, I told you, this is the one thing I've been wanting to do for the longest time was take a sweater, an orange sweater and wrap it over the um, Dollar Tree pumpkin frame. So see how that looks? I wanted to pull out some of the green in there. So this ribbon has the green. And then we will go ahead and figure out a way to put our leaf up in here. I think I'm gonna hang it. I really want it here but it's visually being all right I think we'll go for it like up in here like that thank you Misty this was I thought I would because I didn't have this on it when we went over it last week so I thought I would go ahead and show you just how I did it and because and this was a large sweater so I had enough with the large to get two of these out of it. So this will go in my uh, in my store, not my Etsy shop. It'll probably go in my store because um, I'm getting more foot traffic since I've been advertising locally. So I want to I want to put this out there. All right. So that's how I did that. Then what we're going to work on today, I have some new signs. I know you guys love new signs. I'm going to work with this one today, Fresh Picked Sunflowers. And I love this, this basket. I did post a picture earlier. It was a different color. I wanted this really dark because I wanted this sign to pop off the basket. So that's why the basket is this dark brown. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna poke holes in this and we're gonna situate this on our basket. These are part of the new um, little signs that, I'm co that I've come out with. You can either use them in your tear trays or you can put them on baskets. Now last week when we did the pumpkin sweater pumpkin I also did a little box that I put 
I know I saved it here somewhere. I had a pumpkin. Oh, here we go. The pumpkin patch one that I put on there. That's old already. That's old today. So I have some other ones here too. A farm fresh milk and cream one and farm fresh eggs. I'm thinking a burgundy basket because I don't know if you can see it real good, but there's a burgundy checked border around here. So I'm thinking a burgundy basket. This would really make that pop. So that's one of the plans. Oh, here's another eight by eight I just did. Happy holidays. And I've had some requests for some cat ones. So have a purry furry Christmas. This is another one I just came out with. And this one, welcome winter friends. Actually, I have the matching, um, fell on the floor, let me get it. I have the matching garden flag for this. There we go. So wouldn't this look cute? You have this in a wreath on your door and then you have this in the garden by your door. I like matchy matchy. Now this one is a special one and these are not listed yet. I will try and get them listed tomorrow. This is Welcome Winter Friends. Now I don't know if you can see it, but on the mailbox, I can personalize the mailbox with the name that you, that you want. And then we have our new Faith Over Fear Breast Cancer sign. And of course, you know me and my gnomes. I cannot wait to do this. This is going to be cute. And I got some new things coming. We now have a little CNC machine. So stay tuned. My creativity is going through the roof, so hopefully we'll have some good ideas for you for Christmas. Now, I need some rope. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it through here. I didn't bring my tape back with me. Actually, I have my needle. Now, I'll just poke my needle up through the hole. Sometimes it's easier to thread the head on this needle than it is to thread the hole on the sign. Nope. I need the hole bigger. No problem. We'll just make the hole bigger. So I hope everybody's staying safe. And if you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. I had to go to 6 o'clock on Mondays. A um, few of my good friends go on at 7, so I didn't want to step on their toes. So There we go. going to put this. I see a little hole here. So I'm going to try and get it through here. My customer loved the pumpkin one that she purchased today. I love sunflowers. So I think this is really going to be unique. And if you have a basket, baskets are really great. You can find them just about anywhere. If you have a basket that you need a sign for, all you have to do is ask. I can usually do a custom sign and have it to you. The next day, it'll go out. Thank you, Dawn, for sprinkling 
it's a busy week. I'm hoping to get my live in on Wednesday. I have a litter due this week. So we hope to find out on Wednesday how many she's carrying. So if I'm supposed to do my live and I'm not on, you'll know why. Or I could just film her giving birth. <laughs> I don't think everybody would appreciate that, though. She's my seasoned girl. She, she just does an amazing job. She's a great mom. She knows what she expects from me, and I know what to expect from her, and it just works. So, we'll be having little puppies. Little Yorkies. In case any of that was anybody's next question. All right. So there we go. Now, doesn't that look cute? Wouldn't you love to get one of these as a little arrangement for somebody that's not feeling good or just lost somebody? I mean, we have that um, Cardinal One little sign. That makes for a really cute um, arrangement too. Yorkie Misty, in case you, if you didn't hear me <laughs> or, or, or it's delayed, I get it. Okay, so there we go. Fresh picked sunflowers. This says seeds, stems, and blooms. Have you ever seen um, party Yorkies, chocolate Yorkies, sable Yorkies? I could get any of those colors out of this one because mama carries and dad is a York, a uh, party Yorkie. So I kind of want to start back here. I kind of want to get my height in the back. Okay. This I think is a magnolia leaf. I love the colors on the back side too. When you're doing arrangements, you kind of want to build this way. So I start this way, build up, and then lower as I go to the front. Because this is one that's probably going to be against a wall or hanging on a wall. All right. So that's how I roll with these. I hope this thing works tonight. It's been giving me a rough time. It's not. So I'll probably have to go back and re glue everything. All right. And I want this to be front and center here, but because we've already used some out of that pick, this is what's left from that pick. So my best advice, if you're going to be doing florals, okay, this is a sunflower mum cattail bouquet from Sims. All right. You want to get flowers like this. I know it's more expensive this way, but you have all the colors you need right in here. And we have used this three times already. So you get a lot on it. See, this will tell you it says X24. That will tell you there are 24 pieces in this. Spend the extra money to get good florals. If you have to wait till they're on sale at Michael's and use your coupon, do it. Try to get away from the Dollar Tree florals. Your florals are what are going to sell your arrangements. Okay? Just kind of throwing that out there. All right. So this one, again, you want... You want to visually catch their attention, and you'll do that if it's in a triangle. You don't have to do matchy-matchy all the time, but most of you know that's the way I roll. I like, I like symmetry, all right? I'm just placing these in here. I'm probably going to move some of them, but I'm just placing them in here so I have some kind of idea where I need to fill in. All right. Now you remember when I did my other one, all right, we used the uh, grass because you could see through the one we did, 
we used the grass, the paper grass from Dollar Tree to fill in, and that worked really well. Um, I think I want to not do those yet. Let's see what else we got. Not liking that. And also, if you're going to put big in like this, add small that matches. You want to go variation in size. So you want, you want several um, different sizes in your, in your bouquet. This I'm just throwing in there for a little different, um, a different texture. They are, I own seven Yorkies. I only have two breeding females right now and one male that is a stud. Okay. Also, I just joined um, Dre's. She has ranch house wreaths and things. You guys need to look her up and join her, um, at least her public page. She has some of the best florals. She blows me away. Okay, I'm thinking I wanna get some of these in here, because then I'm pulling some of this color out, I'm pulling some of that color out. That's my intention, so. And then we'll probably put a small small bow over here this might have to go down here because it's a little bit lower I'm trying to keep arrangements in the shop for people that come in that are looking for something quick um, I have a small in-home store with pet supplies, um, and handmade items, my tear trays and some of my signs. Right now, the big thing is everybody is looking for stuff for Christmas. Um, so I'm thinking I want to put some of this fern in here just to give it another little pop of color and texture. I'm missing any of your comments. I try to go back as soon as I'm done because they really disappear quick. So if I don't answer your comments within 24 hours, contact me again. Now see with this, I've created a triangle. With this, I've created a triangle. And with these, I'm going to create a triangle. Okay. Aren't those sunflowers like the cutest you've ever seen? I love Sims sunflowers. Now I like this and I want to put some of this in there, but see how it gets floppy like that? So my intention is to kind of rest it against some of this. I have it actually on just um, some of my leftover stems. I save them. Okay, I don't throw them out. And if there's something you see that you would like me to do, please let me know. <coughs> this has a variation of some of the colors that are in here, so that's why I want to incorporate that in there. <coughs> Excuse me. These are simple and easy to do. Don't try and overthink them. Now this can droop over like that. That's fine. It just gives it another dimension. I used to be really intimidated by florals. 
Just making sure I'm not missing any of your questions. And one of the things I learned in the group that I'm in um, with Lori, hardworking mom, you want things like this. You want, and, and you notice when I did that pumpkin one, I used a lot of these. These are boxwood. This is a fern that has a variation of color. So I'm definitely going to use this in like um, a, an autumn or a fall arrangement. This is a filler. Um, your ferns or, or your boxwood, any of that stuff is filler. These I got at um, Big Lots. And it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think nine stems on here. It's called a heather bush. I got that because that had a lot of texture to it. And they were only $5, so that wasn't a bad price. But see how everything's kind of like working in tandem? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is what you need in your arrangements for visual interest. Now I may go ahead and add a few more of these to it next to the ones we already have in here just to fill it up a little more. And this was just a basket I had sitting downstairs that I just painted it. And see, I'm just putting these on there. And see the variation of color between everything? See how it's popping? Because I'm pulling out other colors here. You'll probably see me do more florals too, because this is a nice item for me to throw in the store that's available to people when they come in. Just take and go. I mean, this is a really cute basket for someone. You, you send them flowers, the flowers are going to die. This is something they can pull out year after year after year. Don't misunderstand me. I love live flowers, but it's nice to have something that you can use. That needs to go in there a little further. It's too far out this way. There we go. Oop, that came off. These leaves were from Michael's. This was from Sims. Sims. Um, this was from Sims also. So I think I'm going to loop it around like that. No. Loop it around here like that. There. I like that better. Now, I don't know if I can get any of these in here. But I'll pull some of the color down if I can. Stem's not long enough. I need a longer stem. Like I said, is there anything anybody wants to see? Hi, Carol. In an upcoming live. I want that down in front here against the yellow more. Actually, this has some orange in it. Let's get that down in there. Nope. I'm not liking it now. I think instead I'll work with some of these little ones. But we only have two. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick them together because I don't want to do that. That's what I don't want to do. So let's just stick them together so they're a variation of size. There we go. I 
This one needs to go up here. There we go. That's where I like it. And it needs something back there. Let's see if maybe we can get one more of these in there. Those were $9.99 at Michael's, these. They're kind of like a, a fabric kind of um, leaf, but I got them at 40% off. And check when you're in there because Michael's will go ahead and they will say fall, summer, spring. You want to make sure the flowers or the greenery you're putting in your arrangement is the right flower. Um, like holly, okay? Holly you think is just Christmas only. It's not. It grows in the fall. Kind of like that. Step. I think I want just a little bit of color right there. So I'm trying to figure out maybe this. That's what it needs. Now, I'm going to have to wrap it. See if I can get my gun to work. No, it's still not. Dang it. There it goes. Yeah, now after I have it all done, now it's going to work. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up putting a little wire on it anyhow. I'm going to try not to burn myself. that I can do. Um, I actually have been working on an idea using one of the unique in the creek boards for that. Um, I saw one made with fabric that I thought was nice too. And they're nice because they're on a sturdy front, uh, you know, um, base. So they would hold up really nice in the cemetery. So yeah, I'll think about that one. Let's see if we can get this down in here. Just another little touch of fall up here. There. Fresh picked sunflowers. What do you think? I'm going to have to put some stuff in the back here because visually I can, I can see the, um, the styrofoam. I thought maybe this would go, but it, it might. Let's just do one over here. No, it's clashing with that. But maybe we could do that down here. All right, let's do that down there. Or, nope, this. Or this. No, nope. this. Don't need such a big stem because it's in the front. Carol came into my shop today and after she left, I sold quite a bit of stuff. The wreath, the um, jello mold pumpkins, um, what else did I sell? The scarecrow wreath, the pumpkins, the little pumpkin arrangement with the pumpkin patch sign on it. Sold that. Sold my block pumpkins the other day. Um, trying to see if visually I want to put anything else anywhere else. There. That's what I wanted. Just ask Carol. I used to be really <laughs> intimidated by uh, florals. She's the one that 
walked me through some. You can do this. I think I'm going to go for these two colors right up in here because then I've got one, two, three. Then we've got another triangle going. And because this, I don't know, see how that works with the, okay, I'm not liking that color. So we're just going to take that off. like in this color it just needs something right there there okay I think we're done what do y'all think I don't think I want any leaves in there I like this single leaf I like the color of that um, thinking that's enough. Pull this up a little. This is down too far, so this needs to come up just a little bit. There we go. Let's just push some of it up. It's down too far. There we go. There. That's better. There we go. Anybody have any questions? I'm trying to keep my videos small and simple. I think it may be, I don't know, maybe we want to get some of this up in there. Let's see. Yeah, it's better off without it. Thank you, Dawn. Did you like your little cat, Dawn? Dawn is a regular customer, and my regular customers, I like to surprise them now and then. And I sent Dawn a little surprise in her package. It's just nice to let everybody know how much I value their, um, you know, patronage. I don't know. I might, I might go ahead and just put that down in there. There's just a little hole there. Oh, we were going to do, wait a minute. We were going to do a little bow, right? What was I thinking? Okay, I wanted this because this is what I'm going to attach my bow to. Now these were the color choices I pulled out. So I knew I was going to be using some of this green. I knew I was going to be using the sunflowers. And I knew that I had some of the burgundy in there. So we're just going to make a tiny, simple bow guys can still see okay yay all right let me just lay these next to each other and see oh I like that one you know me I'm all about country and I'm liking that one too but because the sign is light I'm just looking at my ribbon Let's make it pop. Let's just go ahead and use this. So all I'm going to do is a simple three loop of this color. And I don't think, because see, my loops don't have to be real big because the arrangement isn't real big. All right. So that is the first layer. And if you didn't see the bestie bow that we did, it wasn't last week, I think it was the week before, go back and replay some of my videos. And they're all downloaded on my um, YouTube channel also. So if you didn't get the chance to see it, if you struggle with bows, it's a bow that I found this lady making and I, I'm told it's similar to the funky bow, but 
the way she did it made it so easy. And I did put on my YouTube channel, I did pick a winner for that day because I had everybody um, send pictures of their bows and I have not heard from the winner yet. So, if you didn't check, you might want to go back and watch the video to find out if you won if you entered the bow contest. Otherwise, I'm going to have to give it away to somebody else. I kind of like those three colors. So, I want my tinsel tie. I don't want pipe cleaners. If I can help it. <laughs> I do not like pipe cleaners. Where that thread came from. I know it wasn't you. Because I know you watched to see if you won. Hold the tinsel tie and twist the bow. All right, now let's fluff it out. My colors in the back were the check. Now, there we go. One of my loops was just too big what I like about the tinsel tie. You can go back and readjust. All right. So all I'm doing is trying to get them even. Like, okay, here I have a green. Now I have a yellow. And let's get a burgundy in there. Well, if I don't hear from her, I may have to draw again. So you still have another chance if the winner doesn't come forward. It could be you. Yeah, because I gave away, I would, I was going to give away the welcome sign that we used. Okay. Pull over this way. Nope. Wrong pull. Nope. Okay, pull this one. Nope. Pull this one. There we go. <laughs> Knew it had to be one of them. So there we go. We've got all the colors that are in there. And we probably could have gone, and I may go ahead and change it. We probably could have stayed just with the yellow and the green. Let's take out the burgundy. I'm not feeling the burgundy all of a sudden. So let's just do it with these two. I'm feeling that better because that burgundy was clashing with those flowers. I like that better. It's just simple. That's all we need. Simple, simple, simple. And your tails don't have to be the same length either. So maybe I'll do a sh long and a short over here. And then I'll do a short and a long over here. How about that? Now, if I wanted, nah, I'll just leave it out. Now, I'm going to get this wrapped around my pick here, and then I'll push the pick 
into the star room to complete our design. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that, Dawn. <laughs> I could easily sell this for 20 24 they can hang it they can display it it was a beautiful basket that I had that I just didn't like the color anymore and I used the that um, Krylon paint that I'm always telling you about with the um, primer already in it you wouldn't have to do that it was so light in color that I could have taken um, a stain. In fact, I was going to stain it and couldn't find the stain. So I went ahead and sprayed it. And after I sprayed it, I found the stain. <laughs> so go figure. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could even take one of the little burgundy ones and put it right in the middle there. If I had a smaller one of these. No. The burgundy would do it if I had another small burgundy one. If this was darker, I could put that in there. Nah, that looks too cheap. I'm more into the classic now. And you can incorporate stuff sticking out here from it. I could have put some raffia in there too if I wanted to make it look real country. But... Not sold on that one yet. I'm thinking I like this just the way it is without that in there. And I think that needs to just, yeah, there we go. But not so far down in. That way you can see the sign. And it takes up that hole there. There we go. There we go. I think we're done. Now we're done. I'll have to play with it a little bit. I think this is too long. I want to shorten that a little bit. But what I'm telling you is pay more for your florals, get better florals, and the rest will, it'll sell better for you. All right, I will be on Wednesday at 2 if I'm not birthing puppies, um, so keep an eye out. Um, I have two ideas for Tuesday, and I just haven't decided which I'm going to do. I will work on the um, the Christmas tree one, Dawn. It just may not be this week. Make sure I have everything I need. So, and check out the new signs and the new garden flags, the personalized ones, the car coasters, um, and there'll be more. There'll be more stuff coming as the holidays get closer. I put a bunch of the children's items in my Etsy shop, and I do have the Etsy boutique listed in my comments. Um, and I'm selling, I'm selling out pretty quick. So if you have children that you're buying for for Christmas, I personalize them with embroidery for free. Um, check it out. I gotta glue this guy. He's just not cooperating. So I gotta get my glue gun going. But there we go. See how I either have one or I have three in the shape of a triangle. It's visually pleasing and when you have that in your design, it's gonna sell better for you. All right, I will say good night. Uh, everybody stay safe and hopefully I'll, I will see you on Wednesday at 2 Eastern Standard Time. Okay? All right. Good night.